Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a video about our experience so far of the Campagnolo Bora WTO wheels. Now, if you do like this kind of stuff, please do make sure to stick around, subscribe to the channel, like these videos, and do share them. It really helps us out. Okay, on with the video. Now, I said experience, I didn't say review, and there's a reason for that. The guys have been super generous with their thoughts so far on these wheels and on the products that we've been using. So I wanna make sure I stress the fact that this is our experience of riding and racing these products as opposed to just a pure magazine style review. That's really, really important. Now, we're not gonna make this a super specification style video, but there are four specs that I really just wanna mention straight off the bat. The first is the weight. The weight of the 45s is just under 1500 grams. The second spec I want to mention is the 19 mil internal rim, which allows you to run 23, 25, and a 28 mil tire. We'll get on to that as we go along. Thirdly is the two-way fit system. Now that allows you to run a normal clincher situation with the inner tube and the tubeless setup, which is what we have been running. The last thing is the brake track. Now the brake track is their AC3 system. That was in their previous generation of carbon clinches and it's come forward to this. To start us off guys, I wanna talk about the setup, the installation of these wheels. And to do that, I'm gonna ask Dylan, Dylan McKenna, who's been running these fully tubeless on his experience setting these up tubeless. Little uh, Bora WTO 45 wheel set review coming up. So I've decided to give my bike a clean, pulled it all apart, and I pulled the wheels apart as well to, to clean them up. So this is a very good chance to have a look at what's going on inside the wheel. Those are actually really dope because like a lot of wheels now, they come just out of the box, totally tubeless ready. So they've got this strip here that runs around covering all the spoke holes. Um, so you don't have to put tubeless tape in, you don't have to mess around with electrical tape or anything, it's just all ready to go. So they actually grab the tire extremely well. So you put a tire on, pump it up, boom, up it goes. I cannot stress to you how much setting up a wheel tubeless scared the living daylights out of me. I just thought that was some sweet secret science that you needed a special degree to do. Fast forward a couple of months and I'm just doing it for fun. It is actually very, very simple. Obviously, you do need a compressor to make it super, super simple, like dummy simple, but you can get away with it with a simple foot pump and a little bit of patience. But the compressor makes absolutely all the difference. Alrighty guys, the next thing I really wanna talk about is braking because let's be honest, it is the hot topic in the cycling world at the moment with spinning rotors being the craze. I wanna dial a few of the boys in here, but let's head up north and ask Ben Carmen his thoughts on braking with these wheels. For me, there's no conversation about the WTOs can happen without bringing up how awesome the braking surface on the mark. Race wheels are meant to go fast, but you do also need to stop and to be honest, I don't envy anyone on um, disc brakes um, with these wheels, which I know sounds like a bit of a blowing smoke up your wahoo uh, kind of comment, but yeah, I actually do really, really like the braking um, surface on them, which is quite um, an unusual thing for a carbon braking surfaces. They're normally pretty horrendous. The braking surface on the Campags wheels is incredible. The stopping power and modulation is so good in especially in the wet. So I ran my Camp Agnolo 40 millimeter depth at three peaks in the horrendous rain and freezing conditions. You know how you usually get that squeeze, nothing happens, and then there we go. I've got some braking force. It just doesn't happen with the, the Campag wheels. Um, it's a, there's still a bit of a delay, obviously, but 
nowhere near as much as other wheel brands that I've, I've used. I, I don't know, there's nothing written about this, but this is just my experience so far. I have found the way that the Campy levers, the braking levers work with this braking system, it's almost as though it was designed to work together. And I definitely find that the way the levers work, the way the modulation works with this braking track is superb. It's, it's better than when I was using that AC3 technology on the Shimano levers. So I'm really interested in Jay's experience so far on these wheels. He's obviously been racing these wheels at the pointy end of UCI events. And it'd be really interesting to hear what his first impressions of these wheels have been. The main characteristic of the wheel, I think, is the, the overall stiffness in acceleration. Um, when you really put the power down on some uh, carbon clinches, you find there's a bit of bow in the wheel. It feels like it's sort of flicking out, uh, underneath you. Um, whereas these, it's, it's, it's direct straight to the ground. Um, I'm not sure if that's because of the spoke pattern in the ring, but yeah, it's very direct um, in the power transfer. So the infamous ride quality segment of a, of a wheel review, right? Well, I think this is probably all I need to say. I'm riding Taloa Dam for the second time this week. This is the world's worst road surface and it just grades uphill the whole way. Let's be honest, a huge amount of that is due to the fact I'm running tubeless wheels at 60 PSI. I mean, you can't, you can't not mention that. But what I will say is this, it just grades uphill the whole way. So if you're riding, you know, it'd be all good and well to put 50 PSI in your wheels and ride up here through mud, but it doesn't feel like that. It still feels, well, it feels fast. Let's talk about the Bora WTO. 45s, shall we? Mine are currently absolutely filthy because uh, oh, it's Roubaix season. So over the last four days, uh, my best mate Jas and I have done 800 k's of uh, you know a bit of gravel roads, bit of bit of everything really. So the first few days I ran um, just alloy wheels, and then I got six flat tires. I was like, you know what, I got to run the tubeless. So since since banging the tubeless wheels on, they've been absolutely unreal. So, probably I have to say the best point about the the Boras is without a doubt, they are the fastest rolling wheel I've ever used. Um, I don't really have a, a negative point. I guess the only negative point is um, you kind of feel like you're banging up yourself when someone asks what wheels you have and you can say campy Boras. That sort of gives you a bit of clout. But I absolutely love these wheels. So WTO, Wind Tunnel Optimization. Sounds like a very Oakley-ish sort of marketing phrase, doesn't it? Guys, I'd love to sit here in front of you and tell you that they're a certain amount of watts faster and blah, blah, blah. I don't know that. <laughs> I have access to a wind tunnel. As you can hopefully tell, it's really windy at the moment. It's been windy up here for ages. And what I'm getting to experience is high wind descents. Guys, rock solid, really rock solid. As far as how they're handling that speedy descent, I absolutely love them. So in terms of tires, guys, we are running the 25 mil Maxxis open road tubeless tires. Look, we have mounted 28s to these rims, but look, honestly, for the type of riding and the racing we do, it's just not a, a width of tire that adds any value for us. I realize there'll be a few comments about, you know, I'm running 32s and it's super soft and nice. I get that, I hear that. Other wheel manufacturers are bringing out like crazy wide, like 25 mil in us. So that's coming, I know that. For the type of riding that I do and for the way I like my bike to feel, 25 is, is perfect. And that leads me into these particular rims. I think a 25 mil is where you want to be. I think that's the sweet spot. I also did a bit of homework on the WTO wheels and it's actually pretty interesting some of the re like research and science they put into the wheels because um, I mean they straight out of the box the wheels are really nice but um, 
don't they? Sort of not really seems to be a put out there um, known thing that you can actually put the wheels out in the sun for like two hours and charge them up. And um, yeah, you for like two hours and charge them up. And um, yeah, you, you'll go like an extra 5k an hour faster if you, you know, ride them after you've charged the wheels up. You just got to make sure that you chain them down. Um, yeah, I, I lost the, actually lost a set of wheels the other day because they, I think they just floated away. Um, I think I left them out there too long and they just got too charged up. Um. I would be court-martialed in Italy if I did not bring up the aesthetics of these wheels, any cafe product, as a huge part of our experience so far. Maybe they don't, maybe it doesn't come across that well on camera, but guys, they are pure sex. I'm sorry, they really are. They're just, but guys, they just look beautiful. They really do. Look, it's a different aesthetic to the zips and the envies. I get that there's a more industrial, military look to those wheels, whereas these look, they look like art. It's so cliche, isn't it? It's so cliche, Chris. But they are beautiful, guys. Everyone knows money can't buy you happiness, but money can buy you these wheels, and it's basically the same thing because, yeah, it sounds like a big call, but I was there when we unboxed the wheels and put them in the bikes, and I know it's hard to believe, but Jesse Coyle actually smiled for about 30 seconds. Um, yeah, I, I know, but... um. Yeah, that's that's happiness. I mean, that's anything that can do that is is happiness. Alrighty, conclusion time, guys. And look, this is not going to unfold. This is unfortunately not going to end. You should definitely go out and buy these wheels for this, 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 and this reason. Okay, but I'm sure, as you can kind of gather from from the experiences so far of the guys in the team, we're, we're very positive about these wheels. There's there's no two ways about it. But let's assume for one moment you are in the market for a premium set of wheels at this price point. I want to ask you this question. What is the one reason that you would not go out and buy these wheels without knowing much about them? And I think I can answer that question for you because I know it's not performance because we all know Campy products are just elite performing gear. We know it's not looks because we'll look at them. I think this is a little bit on me as well, that the one reason you wouldn't go out and buy them is, are they durable? Okay, that's, that's the honest truth. And I can firmly stand here today and say to you that so far, so really, really good. Durability is exceeded expectations. We're not halfway through the year, I want these pieces of equipment to last a long time. But as I stand here, we're in a pretty damn good place. So that is it guys, a massive thanks to, to Jay, to Dylan, to Ben, and to all the guys in the team for providing as much info as they could on these wheels. And thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you for bullying me into doing this. And uh, look, we will definitely keep on this style of, of video when it comes to products because I feel far more comfortable doing it. And uh, yeah, it's quite creative and interesting. And um, yeah, anyway, you know what I'm getting at, all right? So thanks very much again for watching, guys. And we will see you all in the very near future. I'm told um, this is something people do, so here we go, we're going to do it.
I could have just made the video this. This could have just been the content. Just would have been, here's the review of the WTO borers. Spin, 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 leave it, and there's like three minutes of, of viewer time. I don't know how I'm going to edit this. Probably fast forward it. Oh, thank God. All right, there you go.